All right, good morning and welcome to Master Talker online class. In today's video, we'll continue from where we stopped on Physics 111 uh, workbook solution. Okay, we have solved from 1 to 60. So this is question number 61. And question number 61 said um, the SI unit, the S, the SI unit, the SI unit of pressure is named is named after after great scientist called okay is named after a great scientist called pascal it was pascal that discovered pressure so he named it after himself so it was discovered and named after a man called blaise pascal Okay, question number 62 said we should state Archimedes principle. Archimedes principle. Archimedes principle. Archimedes principle stated that when a body is fully or partially immersed in a liquid, okay, that it experiences an upthrust which is equal to the volume. Of the liquid displaced by it all right so that is Archimedes principle so question number 63 question number 63 said a solid a solid a solid way solid weighs 20 21 newton when when suspended in air and 15 newton when suspended when suspended when suspended in water then i say we should calculate calculate the volume calculate the volume of the solid okay now don't forget that according to Archimedes principle that the volume is equal to the that when a body is fully or partially immersed in a liquid that it experiences an uptrust so which is equal to the volume of the liquid displaced by it so let's talk about the the uptrust now the uptrust the uptrust is equal to weight in air minus weight in water so which is what the weight in air is now uh 21 minus 15. so at 21 minus 15 will give you question number 63. question number 15 will give you six newton okay now this is the weight now let's get the, the mass the mass don't forget that mass weight the weight is equal to what mg okay so mass will now be what the weight divided by g which is equal to what uh, 6 divided by 10 which is 0 0.6 kg all right now don't forget that density is equal to mass over volume so therefore volume will not be what density uh, mass over density the mass over what density so the mass here is 0 0.6 divided by the density is 1 because we're talking about density of water so which is what 0 0.6 uh meter cube okay so that is that for that it's very very simple so we move to the next question which is question number 64 so question number 64 question number 64 said a metal a metal weigh a metal weighs 300 gram in air and 200 gram in water then you now say what what will it 
its way in alcohol of relative density 0 0.8 okay solution now we know that relative density simply means up trust up trust in in uh, in that liquid and which liquid are we talking about the up trust in alcohol all over what the up trust in water okay so and relative density that is relative density is equal to what up trust means weight in air minus weight in that alcohol all over weight in air minus weight in water okay so let us put everybody i'll be having that 0 0.8 is equal to weight in air uh, they say that 300 in air so 300 minus <coughs> minus weight in alcohol all over what 300 minus 200 so if you do that you're going to have 0 0.8 is equal to 300 minus weight in alcohol all over 100 so if you cross multiply you're going to be having that 300 or you're going to be having that 0 0.8 times 100 is equal to 300 minus weight in alcohol so if you collect light times you're going to have this and this to give you 80 is equal to 300 minus weight in alcohol so collect light times to have that weight in alcohol will now be 300 minus 80 so which will give you um 300 minus 8 300 minus 8 so 300 minus 8 so i have 220 220 in gram the other one is in gram so this one should be in gram as well but if you like you can convert to kilogram by dividing by 1000 so the next question question number 65 and question number 65 said um, that 65 said the force the force per unit length the force per unit length acting acting in okay let me just read it it said that the force per unit length acting in the surface of a liquid at right angle to one to one side of the length of the line drawn in the surface is called surface tension so the answer is simply surface tension so no need to write it down so the answer is surface tension so question number 66 question number 66 said um, when a body when is a body said to be in neutral equilibrium only okay so we say that when a body is slightly displaced and re released slightly displaced and released comma the body remains at its new position without a change in the center of gravity so that's when we say that it is what in neutral equilibrium so you can do your research as well so let's solve question number 67 question number 67 said a string a string of length a string of length 5 cm is extended is extended by 0 0.04 meter when a load when a load of 0 0.8 kg is suspended is suspended at the at the end and i say how how far will how far will it how far will it extend if a force of 16 newton is applied if a force of 16 newton is applied solution okay they say that um a length a string of length so the original length of this string the original length of this string is 5 cm which is 0 0.05 um, meters okay and then they say that the extension the extension of it is um, 0 0.04 meter okay when a load of um, eight, uh, 0 0.8 so they gave us mass there the first mass is 0 0.8 kg so the load which is the force should be what mg which is 0 0.8 times 10 
which will give you 8 newton. Okay, then I say it's suspended at the end. Then how far will it extend? We are looking for the, this is the second uh, first force. We are looking to, for the second extension when the next force now will now be 16 newton. But I know that F, don't forget that F is directly proportional to what? E. So therefore, F is equal to what? KE. So therefore, K is equal to F over E. You can call this, let me complete it here. You can call it F1 over E1 is equal to F2 over E2. So we will now have that my F1 is 8 divided by my E1 is 0 0.04 is equal to F2 is 16 divided by my what? E2 that is unknown. Okay, so if I cross multiply, I will go, I'm going to have that E2 will now be 16 times 0 0.04 divided by 8. So I'm going to have um, 16 times 0 0.04 divided by 8. So do that 16. That is 0 0.04 times 2. So that is 0 0.08, 0 0.08 uh, meters. So that is the new extension. So that is that. So we move to question number 60. Eight. Question number sixty-eight. And question number sixty-eight. Question number sixty-eight said that we should find find the potential energy of an object. Find the potential energy of an object of mass of mass ten kg placed placed on a building building floor 10 meter above above the ground okay don't forget that formula for potential energy is just mgh so very very simple formula solution formula for potential energy is equal to what mgh so which is what my mass is 10 times my g is 10 times my height is 10 so i have what 1000 joules very very simple question number 69 question number 69 said calculate calculate the time the time taking <coughs> calculate the time taking for an orange for an orange fruit to for an orange fruit that that fall from a tree 25 meter to reach to reach the ground okay solution question number 69 okay uh let us see what they gave us they gave us um now if the orange, the orange is, an, is initially standing and um, hanging on that tree. So the initial velocity there is zero meter per second, right? Then my distance from up to down that it will fall is 25 meter, okay? So they say we should find the time. The time is unknown. I know that S is equal to what? UT plus what? Half is going to be GT squared, not A, because we're talking about falling. So acceleration due to gravity will replace your A here. So I have that my what 25 is equal to what zero times t that I'm looking for plus one over two times ten times t squared. So I'm going to have that um, 25 is equal to what um, this into this that is five t squared. So my t squared will need, will now be 25 divided by five. So my t squared is equal to what five. So my t will now be the square root of five in seconds. So get what the square root of five is. So that is my my t, the time it will take for it to reach the ground. Okay. So we move to the next question. Question number uh, seventy, right? Question number seventy. And question number seventy said if if an object if an object whose whose mass is three kg moves moves in a circular path of radius 0 0.7 meter records records a speed 
a speed of two meter per second you now say what what is the angular velocity of the object okay so what is the angular velocity of the object so first of all um we should know that they gave us solution the thing they gave us they gave us mass as 3 kg okay they gave us radius as 0 0.7 meters and they gave us our velocity as 2 meter per second so we now need to calculate our angular velocity you should know that um the angular velocity is equal to what theta over over radius yes theta over time sorry okay theta over time that is displacement over time angular displacement over time okay now what is angular displacement don't forget that angular displacement is equal to what distance over the radius okay so we now have that um and then don't forget that um what am i saying okay no over time not over ah over time so if i cross multiply here i'll have that my s is equal to what theta t okay so uh what do i do yeah is there any problem somewhere i think i'm making mistake what is velocity over time okay sorry okay sorry sorry i know that my okay let us not go far just know that i just know that very simple formula that angular velocity is equal to normal velocity over r very very simple to note okay instead of going far so angular velocity will now be what normal velocity 2 over 0 0.7 so if you do that you are going to have 2 divided by 0 0.7 2 divided by 0 0.7 so which will give you that is 2 point eh? 2 divided by 0 0.7 yeah 2 point 2 point 8 5 7 1 in what rad per sec okay very very simple so thank you very much for watching please like share and subscribe comment as well bye bye